Well, hello everyone, it's Chanel here, and today I am going to be giving you the master bedroom makeover for my daughter's room. Here is a photo of my daughter. She is a kindergarten teacher, and also this is the headboard. Remember, that was made over a couple of months ago, and I will leave that link in the description box. Hello everybody, it's me Chanel, and today I am going to show you the room. Remember I told you about my daughter's room and the big headboard. The headboard has made it to its home, and now we're going to just go ahead and dress up the room. We're going to just change out some of the bedding that is in the room, and she got new lamps. We purchased new lamps for the room, new pillows uh, for the bed as well, and some also that, excuse me, we don't want that to fall over. Um, some also, hold on, that I made for the room, uh, one small one that is in the print of the headboard to continue with all the colors that is in the room. And then I have this beautiful blue crushed velvet here and it is very luxurious as you can see. Uh, and I'll put it a lot closer so that you can see the actual color of it. And that is just, again, to um, take away some of the floral, the print that is in the headboard and bring in some just neutral colors like the blue. Again, we want to make the room a little bit more masculine, not so feminine, but add solid colors to it to downplay the floral print that is in the headboard. So I'll just continue to add everything to the room and I hope you enjoy the video and just keep watching till the end. Now as you'll see coming up here, we are going to just be changing out some of the bedding. She bought all new bedding for her and her spouse's bed and we're just going to switch all of that out and we will hang some mirrors that will be flanking the actual bed and they are sort of a gold mix with a platinum color so it, so it's not very high shine it doesn't have a high shine in other words and uh, i'm just doing my normal measuring technique here uh, from the top of the ceiling all the way down so that we can get it equal distance and leveled measure measure hang once is going to be off but when you are hanging your draperies take note of this for those out there that do not know this you want your rod can you give me that rod over there yeah and while we have to take this one so i can give them two amazing examples you should in my opinion this is my opinion you guys never buy your rod the exact same width as your window it shrinks your window because when you add your curtains, then your curtains or your drapery will come in and make the window appear even smaller, unless that is what you're going for. But in most cases, that is not what we're going for. You want to show off your window. Windows are always assets. So you always want to, this is my opinion, this is just not book, <laughs> but you want to make it longer than your window. You see how short that is across and it extends exactly pretty much the width of the window. You want overhang for your rod to come out at least a foot, at the least a foot. You don't want it to be too far over unless you just want to make your window appear even wider so you can start your draperies right at the edge here. And another tip. When you are hanging your brackets, that is the bracket that holds 
the rod on the wall, your bracket should always come to the end of your rod. In other words, your bracket should be about here. You want to see your end for your finial, and you want your bracket to fall about here. Reason being, if your bracket is here, your curtains won't cover the bracket. You get it? So your bracket should always come out towards the end of your rod, near your finial, and not here. Otherwise, you'll have curtain and rod hanging here. That is not a good look. Just a quick tip. We will just finish up the entire room, putting everything in and let you have a view of the entire room. And she and her spouse are just loving their colorful, spirited room. Again, she is a color girl. She is very fun. And this very much represents her personality. So thank you for joining me. This has been Chanel. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and definitely hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next one.